Hello, coffee friends. So I'm gonna film what I'm doing today. I'm just doing coffee truck maintenance and maintenance on the machines. So I figured somebody out there might wanna know how to descale and clean and everything um, these Breville machines. And I have both the Pro and the Express. So if that's what you're interested in, follow along. And uh, yeah, let's go. The best thing about the Breville machines is that you can put whatever water in it you want. So we're filtering our water with a zero filter. Um, and then you can take care of them yourself. And they're less than a thousand dollars to replace. And they come with a one year warranty. So we're in the middle of sending one of ours in because we have three. We had four. Um, we've purchased four. So. Um, yeah, they're not perfect, but they're affordable to get started with, and I really like how you don't have to be hardwired into your water system, so that makes them really great for, like, portable if you're just doing, like, a coffee cart or whatever. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't trade it. Like, if somebody was like, let me give you a $5,000 machine, I'd probably take it, but <laughs> it's not one of my goals to save up to buy a real machine, so sorry all you other brands um yeah i can i know that i can make really quality coffee because it's what you put in the machine not the machine itself and then what you do afterwards that matters so again thanks for watching it's really hot in here so i'm gonna get to uh, finishing this up all right so i'm gonna see if i can turn the lights on because all i have right now is the sunroof and i want you to be able to see what i'm doing with the machines but um, before I clean the machines, I have some new filters and I'm gonna soak those. So um, it's really important with your, you know, home espresso machine, which is I guess what these Revels are, is a professional home espresso machine. Um, but I've got no shame that we use them in our coffee truck because, like I've said before, they pull an excellent shot and consistent and delicious and that's really all that matters to me um, I gotta set you down all right so I'll try to kind of give an update while I show you how to do this um, so these filters charcoal filters need to soak so I'm putting them in some water and this is a process that we try and succeed at doing once a week. So we do this once a week. Um, you soak them first for five minutes and you'll see some of the water get dark from the charcoal. And then you rinse them for 30 seconds. So what I was saying was we do this, all of this that I'm about to do every week, um, descale, flush, and change the filters. Um, so it's really important. So. I have the manual for the Barista Express, this is the lower model, and then this has lost its cover, this is the Pro. So you want to always keep your books because even though it's really easy, actually this one's not easy, this one is automatic, so yeah. So and then we have our descaler, it's pretty dark over here. So here's the Pro, I left this in it when I pulled a shot yesterday. And we are having issues with our pros. We actually have one we're sending in for maintenance because um, it's steam's coming out from right here. And so this is actually our best steamer, so we can't steam with that right now. I'm also going to be cleaning the wands today because they get really gross. And um, descaling and 
flushing. So fun times. It's just maintenance you got to do. So hopefully I can get the lights turned on. It'll be a little brighter and find something to put this on. Show you how it's done. All right. So I have my D scale. I'm going to do the Breville Pro first. Um, so we're going to D scale first. So your machine turn right here, has a marker for where the, where the D scale goes to. So it's right here. So locate that on yours. And then um, what I like to do is actually mix the D scaler before I put it in there. So I just dump that water out the window. So I'm going to measure how much water I need. Hopefully you can see this okay. Okay, so I got, I poured it to the D scale mark, and now I'm going to pour it all over the book. Alright. So now I've got my little bowl. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna use a whole one, it's not that much. And I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm going to not inhale that. <laughs> oh! Rah. All right, so this is called Descal for home coffee and espresso machines. Now I'm gonna put it in here. I was gonna change the filter after. I'm supposed to just take it out during yeah, it. Okay. Take the whole thing out. Well, I'm changing the filter anyways. Okay. So we're gonna turn it on. Oh, it's not plugged in. Alright, let's try this again. We're going to turn it on. Okay. Alright, so it's telling me that I need to flush and descale. Okay, so I've got my manual. So, empty the drip tray. My drip tray probably needs to be emptied. Um, remove the water tank, remove the filter. Okay, I did that. Fill the water tank to descale. Add the descaling agent. All right. Okay, so then we go to the menu. Here it says menu. And then we just walk it over to descale. See, this one's automated, so it's really nice. And then you just start the descale. And that's it. It's going to do it. And then um, I believe it does it all by itself. Oh, there's a rinse cycle. This is descaling still. It's doing its thing. Oh, it wants me to turn it to hot water. I forgot. See, I always forget. And that one tells you so you don't forget. So it's running through that, it's splashing everywhere. So all that finishes, I'm going to. Mix the one for the other machine. It says I need to fill the tank. Now I have to turn it to steam. This is steam. Make sure your steamer wand is in here. Okay. Now it just says R for rinse, so I need to fill the tank back up with clean water, clean it out, and hit this to start the rinse. And I need to dump this. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, so I went inside, 
rinse it out really good and put new hot water and I'm gonna do the rinse cycle and I emptied this all right so in the rinse cycle you're gonna have to do the same thing turn it to hot water so you have your hot water and your steam While that's doing that, we're getting ready to flush. That's going to be the next thing. So when you get your machine, it comes with these little thingy-majigs. It basically seals that. I usually use the one shot size, but I have the double shot size out here. Then we have these flushing tablets. Also just get those on Amazon. I'll put a link for them if you need them. And that's just going to lock in here and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do the flush cycle and you don't have to do this little switcheroo. Now it's saying steam. Okay, so we'll let that finish and then we're going to do the express. I'm going to go ahead and take the filter out of here. It's so hard to do this with one hand. I'm going to take this whole thing out, dump it, and put this in there. See, definitely see a difference there so I'll just go ahead and replace this but not put it in okay throw away the old filter all right so this is still on steam okay it's done okay so I'll show you it says still says flush so excuse me we're gonna put this into its place then we're going to again go to menu. Oops, I keep getting cut off and now my battery's low. So we might this might just be the pro only and not the other. So okay, I'm going to flush. Flush is jumping. Confirm and then hit the one cup to start it. And that'll run through the flush. I probably should have changed this before I started that. Yep. I know. I'll put a bowl under there after I pour this into there. flush will kind of be quiet for a while and I think it's stopped but it's just it's doing its thing okay all right so put this other filter in here and like I said that flush will really take care of itself then I'm gonna wash everything really well with hot water and then I'm gonna do this express machine which I guess might be in another video because my batteries aren't charged. This came with our sign. This is really nice to have in the window because people are always asking what our hours are, so it's really obvious there. So I'll tape that in the window. So just to show you what it looks like when it's flushing, it's saying flush in progress, and it's taking some time. All right, so it is done. It's just back to normal. It doesn't say anything crazy. I'm going to give it just a little bit and then release that. And then sometimes I just like to. Run that through. I need to clean this machine. Yeah, this one's done. Okay, so for this one, um, it's flashing to descale. If you just need to clean it, which is filter, it'll just steady blink. Descale is two blinks, it needs everything. So it's fully lit up, it takes a while to warm up this one. 
So now that it's lit up, it's going to tell me what to do. So here's what we do. We do what we did with the powder, put it in the back, and then we're going to hold the two cup button and the power button simultaneously. Okay, it's not ready. I think we need to do it from being off. That's what I remember. So it's off. I'm sorry, you can't see. You're going to hit the power and the double shot button at the same time. They're at the end of the machine on both sides. Hit them at the same time. Hold them, hold them, hold them. There we go. Now we're lit up. So it's lit up and now we hit this to begin descaling. Same thing, we're going to have to go through. This one we have to s switch it manually, like it's just going to stop and it's going to flash here and tell us to switch it to the other thing. So you have to kind of stand by here. Okay, now it wants us to turn it to hot water or steam. I'm going to go with steam. Splashing everywhere. When that's done, it wants us to turn it the other way to the water. Okay, and then we're going to repeat again. And then we're going to rinse it by doing it again, I believe. Yep, f f fresh cold water and run it through again. Okay, so... Now it's done, but we're going to do it again. I'm going to have to empty my drip tray soon, but it wants us to go until this is gone. Which one thing about this machine is it doesn't tell you when it doesn't have water. It just stops. So that can be really dangerous for the health of your machine. Okay, I think we're pretty much out of water. take this inside and rinse it and then I'm going to run it through when it's all clean. All right, so last but not least the flush on this. Same thing, put the tablet in here with the disc and um, it still needs to clean. It's not flashing for a descale. Um, we're just going to start over so we're going to turn the power off and then we're going to hold this button and this button at the same time. I can't film it. I'm going to do it. Now it knows what we want to do, and we are going to do it. So that one is just one thing. That's it. Okay, so for the express, when it's done, it is going to make two beeps. And right now... I'm not sure if it's telling me to... I really need to just run it through this. Okay, so this one is still telling me that I need to clean it. But I've rinsed it. I've ran it through a bunch of times, so um, it's all good. I know that it's been cleaned and descaled, um, so I'm going to put the filters back in. And I forgot to say I take these off every week, and I soak them. Oops, I just did the wrong way. Um, soak them in some soapy water, and then clean them out really good. They'll get milk stuck in the in the tip of them, so that's really important. And then we're gonna clean this off. All right, thanks for watching. I should get a tripod, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful, and um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos to come. Happy coffee drinking.
I haven't washed her in a couple weeks. 